Y'all, I cannot wait to react to this new video from The Rose. So let's go ahead and dive in. Wait, what the heck? What is this? What? What's up everyone, my name is Andrew and welcome to a very special reaction video. If you don't know already, I'm a guitarist of about 15 years now and I make K-pop guitar covers, K-pop reaction videos like this one, and other forms of K-pop content here on YouTube. But if you couldn't tell by the intro of this video, <laughs> today's video is going to be unlike any reaction video I've ever done. Normally, I sit down without any prior knowledge of the song or the music video and react to everything as it happens in the moment. Everything I say about the music or the music video is purely speculation based on my own knowledge and experiences. I must confess, however, that not only have I heard Wonder many times before recording this video, I was actually in the music video. Y'all, I still can't freaking believe it. So that means that this time, I actually have first-hand knowledge as to how the music video was made. I have not, however, seen the finished video, so this first watch through will be a genuine reaction to that. After that, I figured I would share my story from that day, break things down a little bit more like I normally do with these videos, but also share some special behind the scenes footage. So you're definitely gonna wanna watch the entire video. But for those of you who are first time viewers, welcome by the way, I'm super glad you're here. I've been a Black Rose since I first saw The Rose Live back in 2019. As a guitarist, songs like Baby and Candy hooked me immediately and I've been a huge fan ever since. I've covered a few of their songs already and I'll make sure to link a playlist containing all of them in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. My bias is technically Dojun, but really they all are. <laughs> As a musician, it's just too difficult to pick one over all of the others for too long. But look, I've been talking long enough, and I'm sure you're ready to see me react, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, before we dive in, since most of this video is probably going to end up being about the music video and the actual production of that, I want to make it known that I freaking, I love this song. I love the song so much. I love what it stands for. I love the message of it. It's just a fantastic song. Obviously, there's a ton of guitar, a lot of really good guitar parts that I'm really excited to cover. There's definitely going to be a cover coming. And it's arguably, arguably my favorite song off of Duel, though Alive is, is still, still pretty high up there. But this is definitely a contender. 100 million out of 10 for me for this song. I freaking love it. So let's dive into the music video. And right out of the gate, there I am <laughs> with my with my sunglasses on off to the left. Uh, and beside me is my new friend, Mike, a lovely penguin over on YouTube. We'll talk more about him later. But shout out to Mike and the rest of the friends that I will also tell you about later. If you can't tell, I'm just really excited. So I'm going to hit play. I'm going to stop talking. Here we go. Oh, man, this was such a this is so wild. Look. Oh. I can see Mike's head. He's so tall. Wait for it. Yeah. <sighs> so freaking good. I love this song. There we are again. What? Oh. Yes. This song is so freaking good. And Dojun's vocals right here are so good too. He's just, just so high. Oh, these shots turned out so great. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh. What an insane experience. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that I got the, I got to be there and the song and just everything. What a great shot of Jay Young. Yeah, Mike. Oh, this is the shot. Stephanie, what's up? It's another one of my friends from that day. Okay, so 
It's worth noting, I, I'll, I'll pause here because I've, I've been, a, I haven't paused enough. Normally I pause like 11,000 times. So here's, here's an obligatory pause. But if you can't tell already, they're combining footage that was shot from all of us that were there from our phones. And uh, I, I totally forgot his name, but he was filming. Um, he had a handheld. I think it was like an A7 III, a Sony A7 III or something like that. And was like going around handheld and shooting different things. So like the really pretty shots were him. There's some drone footage in here that was really cool. But I love that they took the footage that we all shot as Black Roses there in the moment. And I'll, tell, I'll, I'll say more about this later. And they're like professionally shot stuff and put it together. It's just such a special way to do a music video especially one that is talking about bringing everyone together in unity and singing and dancing and like uniting everyone with love it's just <sighs> nerding out already here we go and this three the 360 camera shot oh. what if we were all the same what's the point of same the honestly names? everyone's captured in the game i wonder we yes. say the truth all our lives be so much smooth perhaps a better world's in blue my wonder do you think yeah oh he was getting it he was getting it yeah i was gonna say he was running around in a circle at one point oh, oh that shot is so freaking cool oh yeah all of our flags there's me and Mike with our flags in the background. Oh, so freaking cool. Oh, there was me. I just saw me again. Oh, man, this. Oh, I love that. What? Oh, man. Oh, the, I want to see more of that drone shot. Are they going to finally do it? Oh, yes. Oh. There I am. There's the back of my head. <laughs> that shot turned out so good. Wait, 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 wait. All right, how are these? Are they alphabetically by last name? Let me see. Why am I having, there we go. I was like, why am I having so hard, such a hard time finding the M's? Good Lord. Uh, there's my name. What, a, what, what an insane day. What a freaking insane day. I love the music video. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but the song, I mean, there's, there's such, there's so many cool parts. Like, let's just talk about the music again for a second before I really go in depth on the music video, but we've got this guitar line. Such a pretty way to start a song. The minor four chord. Let me tell you something, and I think I've said this before in a reaction video, but I love a minor four chord. Well, you're a nerd. I love a minor four chord. It it, it just makes things sound so much more emotional. I love it. Anyways, um, you've got that line, and then I love the way that they build everything up with those Why drum hits. It's such a good way to begin lifting the song and then more snare. Like the marching snare in there. And it's great because like uh, marching snares tend to have the sound of like, you know, everyone's marching together and it evokes this feeling of like a lot of people and unity and stuff like that. It's a really cool touch. Clears it out and then just hits there. I love that. Just big guitar chords and the bass and the driving drums. But then what I do want to highlight is coming up here in a second. Usung, they all look so cool, but Usung looks really cool. Here. The 
that guitar lead line. Oh, so good. Anyways, what a fantastic, what a fantastic song. The vocals, I mean, they're just like soaring the whole time and it's just like this big anthem sounding song. I love it. This is a song that evokes like a lot of classic The Rose vibes, but also very much feels like the matured version. Like they've they've come through so, so much and obviously this is like the more refined version of what they can do. It's just, it's so cool. And of course, 100 million out of 10 for the music video. Ah, so such a cool experience, such a cool experience. Um, again, they're they're combining all of these different shots from you know the different forms of media uh, that they did there that day. And I think I think this is a really good time for me to just kind of dive in since I've already kind of just like smiled and beamed and geeked out about the music video for the first time. I think it's a good segue point to just just go straight into all of the all of the fun stuff, all the nitty gritty. Some of you might remember this from a number of weeks back, but they sent out an email and they were like, hey, LA Black Roses, we're looking for volunteers to to do something. And they, di they didn't really say what they were gonna be doing, obviously, because there's a lot of secrecy with these types of things. And I remember posting something, I'll put the post on the screen here, but it was like screams an introvert or something like that. And I was really nervous about it. And I signed up and I didn't hear anything back for like a week. And I was like, huh? And I was like, I took off work. And then all of a sudden I get, a, I get an email back and they're like, hey, you've been selected, here's some more details. And I read in the email that it was like, it, they said something along the lines of like flash mob or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really hope I don't have to dance because that would be really embarrassing. I know my buddy JT plays guitar. Some of you subscribe to him too. He, we have this running joke where he keeps asking me to do dance covers. It's not gonna happen because I am not very good at dancing. I have a really good sense of rhythm, but the way my body moves with that is very embarrassing. So I was like really nervous because I was like, I've never been on like an official set before. Like I'm going to be by myself. Hopefully I don't have to dance. So anyways, the day comes around. I drive out. It's at this really cool location, a little bit north of Hollywood. And then Mike, I run across Mike who is asking where to park. And he, th this car pulls up. And again, a lovely penguin on YouTube. He does reaction stuff. He's a fantastic human being. So please go check his stuff out. I'll leave it uh, in the description below. But he drives by in a car and he's like screams at me. He's like, hey, and I was like, oh, another guy. And I walked up to the car and I'm like, you know, we're talking and he, he asked me where to go and found him later in the registration line. And we basically stayed together the rest of the way throughout the day. Ended up getting grafted into this like small, like quasi family of people. So Emmy, Abby, Jelly, Stephanie, Mackenzie, Mike, all of you are fantastic. And I had such a fun time making friendships with all of you. Like it made the day 150 times better. Um, we, we met at a park and then they, they bust us over to the actual filming location, which is like this like model plane airfield, right? None of us knew if, they were, if the rose was gonna be there. All they told us was like, hey, show up. We're shooting a drone shot. So they finally told us that it was like a drone Venn diagram shot but nothing about the band members, right? So we're in the shuttle, and as we're driving over, I see in the field, this a drum set. Someone is setting up a kit, and the person who was setting up a kit was in like a white dress shirt and dr black dress pants, and they had someone following them around with an umbrella, and I was like, I'm 99% sure that is Hajun because what kind of a drum tech would be dressed that nicely and would have someone following them with a freaking umbrella? And I'm like, oh my gosh the members are going to be here. And so then the excitement goes freaking through the, the, the roof and I get I get back and all of the, like this group of friends that I was a part of, we all meet up and I'm like, guys, like Hajun's here. I showed everybody and we were all getting super excited. And then, of course, the first thing we film is this right here. I'm going to pull it up. It's really crazy because, of course, like they don't really tell you what you're going to be doing until like right beforehand. And they're like, hey, everyone, uh, you're all gonna get flags, and they are flags of the United Nations recognized countries, which we actually learned from Usung later that day. But they were like, you're gonna get a flag, we're gonna go out onto this field, and we're gonna make a Venn diagram. I'm like, okay, cool. you know, cool, the, the dual Venn diagram thing. Y'all, it was, uh, it was pretty challenging getting everyone, first of all, in the Venn diagram, and then secondly, synced up. And I think there ended up being like 150, 
50, roughly 150 people that ended up being there to participate. And I think it's a really great opportunity right now to, to say that there was a fantastic diversity of people. Fantastic. I think I was one of like five, maybe six guys there that day. But like as far as different types of people, different ages, like it was just really beautiful, really, really beautiful to see. And of course, like the members, they're like, OK, now that everyone is set up, we're going to bring the band out. And the, the 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 ripple of excitement was just it was insane. It, you, you just felt it, you know, out in the middle of nowhere in this field. It was just surreal being on set with these people that like you look up to as musicians and um, they come out and while they were getting uh, things set up, the members actually, Dojun and Usung, actually walked around the circles and were like talking to people while we were waiting. It was it was surreal, um, which is how we found out that the flags were like the UN recognized nations from Usung. But it was super cool. We talked with them for a little bit. So anyways, they, they pulled us out onto the field and I am like right here. I'm like right there that's me with the red i think i'm pretty sure that's me right there so we heard the song we had a big speaker there and it was like the last chorus of the song we it was like it was maybe the last 30 seconds we didn't even get the whole song at first and it's the first time we've all heard it and we're all like yeah like this is super cool and um they were like okay on different cues you're gonna put up your flags and you're gonna wave them on beat and so which is very difficult there were some people that were not on beat but we we managed and of course they got the shot the first shot was you know it rising up out of the rows and it revealing this big venn diagram and all the the flags are waving it's super beautiful and we did a few of those where like we waved and on the, the last beat of the song we put them down really fast you know there was a few you know choreographed type things with the flags but we stood out there and waved our flags and uh, heard the end of the song first and then the next thing that we did which you can see in this shot and in the very beginning shot here was they had us come around in a circle they got all the shorter people in the front all of the taller people in the back and then we did some choreographed stuff there so like there would be during the choruses they would have us like pick up our flags and like wave them around then they were like okay we just want y'all to just act like they're performing just for y'all just enjoy the song enjoy the performance which was insane like you're there and the rose is basically performing a song for you this was when we're just all in a circle around them and just enjoying it. And we're just like all, you know, Stephanie's back there dancing, but we're all having fun. And it was it was just so it was so cool to to see them perform and, you know, hear them singing. And Hajun was like obviously playing for real. But then and this is the this was the funnest part. They were like, hey, guys, we have a surprise for you. All of you go get your phones and come back. And we were all like, what? And the production people were like, by the way, the production staff were phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And they were like, don't run, everyone runs. I mean, just everyone's running across <laughs> to get their phones. And of course, to be back and to be closer to the front. And we all got our phones in there. They were like, okay, you can film whatever you want. Film whatever you want, any parts of the song. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the footage from you later and use it in the video. And I was like, what? This is amazing. Like as a YouTuber, this is the dream, right? This is a good time to show you all something else. So there was a shot where Mike was filming his phone and singing the lyrics and Dojun came up right over his shoulder and was singing into his camera. And I happened to catch that as I was trying to go by. Uh, to to film Dojun myself. So here's that clip. You see him singing together? And they're right there. They're just right there, y'all. We're all singing. But I'm like three feet from Hajun and Dojun. It's so much fun. I was like right there and they were telling the other group, telling our group to come back out so another one could come in. And like, I'm pretty sure Mike and I like didn't even, I was gone. I was in another world. I was just, I was filming, having a blast. All of a sudden you come around the corner. Everyone's captured in the game. I wonder. Hey. 
and then Dojin's right there. Like, what? Hajun's right there. Uh, it was insane. So then there's this other clip that I showed in the beginning of me just having the time of my life with Dojun in the background. What a wild, what a wild experience, y'all. <laughs> this beginning shot. The second time our group got to go in, Mike and I went around to the other side to see if we could get Jaehyung and Usung like better shots of, of the two of them. We didn't actually make it in. There were too many people, but you can see... Uh, this outfit was the uh, highlight of the day for a lot of people, and you can see why. <laughs> and they're just all right there. And they're, you know, obviously the production people are like screaming through megaphones the entire time. So yeah. Just being nerds. <laughs> what a nerd, right? <laughs> but the whole time I'm thinking, like, I can't wait for people on YouTube to see this. That was a good shot of Hajun in this one. <laughs> They're all so cool too. They're all so freaking cool. And Dojun was like literally, I was literally like eight inches away from me at that point. Like, just rocking out. It was, it was wild. It was wild. And then there's all of the people. Doji, I was I was wondering if Doji, yeah, he finished the heart. I was like, I was really hoping he was gonna finish that heart. So, anyways, oh, lots of uh, lots of crazy moments. Uh, just a surreal day, and just to be able to see myself in the background of so many of these shots is is an experience that I'll never forget and is an experience that I'll never take for granted and that will I will cherish forever and I think it's really cool the Rose in particular has always been like really connected with their fans and like when we were uh leaving to take the break uh between the Venn diagram shot and then the circular shots we were all around them like they were just walking with us to take a break and answering questions like there were people just like walking with them talking with them they're so friendly and so nice everyone was just super nice and super easy to work with that day all that to say fantastic fantastic experience um i wish that if this were to happen again i wish i could bring all of you we could just all we could rent like a thousand different vans we could just all go together but for the time being, I'm going to continue to film as much as I can to bring you along for the experiences um, because like when I'm doing these these types of things, like I'm always thinking about all of you, like how can I bring this to them? How can I, you know, show my appreciation to them uh, for their love and support by like pulling back the curtain and, and having these experiences for you as well. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me tell my story and ramble and geek out about this amazing experience. I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah. Until the next video, I'm Andrew, and I'll catch you then.